Hello, 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 Scorpio. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Whenever you come across this reading, I hope everyone is staying safe. I love you guys. So let's get into your reading. Remember, I'm going to give you the good with the bad. It may be trigger warnings, okay? So, you know, brace yourself. Could be a trigger. Don't be mad at me. This is just lessons learned, okay? So let's get into it. Spirit guys, God. As you give me clarity and understanding, this is for Scorpio. What's in the energy? What is what is in the energy for my Scorpio? <clears throat> so the first card came out is defensive. That's why I was just saying, don't get mad at me. This may be triggers. I'm a, I love you. I'm going to love you through the good times and the bad times, okay? But this is the message. You got defensive here. Unconscious resisting to facing unsolved issues explores them with curiosity so uh, some of you <clears throat> this could be in your energy someone is very defensive remember everybody to reverse the rose how they fit in your life i don't know your life okay so someone is defensive or this is you very defensive let's see what else is in the energy scorpio discernment okay so uh don't run from difficult emotions okay uh, uh set with them and allow them to shift so some of you are trying to act as if nothing has happened you're very defensive okay and spirit guides is saying your discernment the spirit wants you to sit with how you're feeling about something some of you can be very defensive if somebody say something or this person that you're dealing with or dealt with okay this person can be very defensive it's like everything you say they always defensive about something um and spirit guides are saying that if this is you, Scorpio, stop running. Don't run from your the difficult emotions. I feel like whoever you was dealing with, or this could be you, Scorpio, that you have a hard time dealing with your emotions. And uh, that's what make you put a wall up, okay? That's what make you put a defense up because uh, of not really, really setting with yourself, setting with your deep emotions about uh, whatever has happened in your life, whether you just coming out of a relationship or something happened in your childhood, whatever, whatever has happened to you, you have a hard time, um, dealing with it when it comes down to your emotions and spirit guides, God wants you to set with them. Okay. You got to set with them. You gotta, you gotta deal with your emotions because when you suppress them, it doesn't do anything, but just make you more defensive that, you put this shield, this wall up that can't not a soul get through. And you don't want to walk around like that. You don't want to have that type of energy in your spirit, okay? So it's time to shift that, okay? It's time to sit with it and allow it to shift. In other words, it's time to get that out of your system. It's just like, let me, I'm going to set an example. It might not, may not be close to it, but you kind of get an idea of what I'm getting ready to say. It's like when you're constipated. Okay, instead of take instead of sitting with it, instead of saying, okay, what can I eat that's that has more fiber? What well, sitting with what the cause is? Why is it happening? You know, you no, know, you just set your, you just keep sitting there, letting your stomach blow, stop, keep eating stuff, letting you, you're not letting it, it's not coming out of you. So, spirit guides want you to stop suppressing, suppressing uh, your emotions. Okay. Hello, new viewers, cross watchers. Come on in. Take what resonates. Reverse the rose. I love you guys. But yeah, you got to start sitting with your emotions because it's making you be very defensive. Make you put a shield up. Make you very guarded. Okay? Very guarded. All right? And you don't want to be that way. You want to be able to... Um, um, be able to exchange your energy, you know, to and from people, okay, or relationships, give me another car spirit, thank you, uh, yeah, exactly, you're stubborn, you're stubborn, you could have Taurus in your chart somewhere, very stubborn, very stubborn, yeah, we got, we got to let that, we got to come out of that Scorpio, you got to you got to work on that, okay? You're very stubborn. And it says it can uh, demote the determination and perseverance, but it also may hinder your progress. When you're very stubborn and very defensive, it can stunt in any area of your life. It's not just relationships. 
It's every area of your life, okay? When you when you when you're stubborn and you don't see anything and it's like no, it's gonna be my way, then you are hindering the process. You're hindering, uh, yeah, you're slowing your pace down. The bottom of the deck, you are slowing your pace down when you are stubborn and hindering yourself. Oh my goodness, this is the truth, honey. Let me tell you something. You are definitely you gotta have Taurus in your energy somewhere. The bull, you got, you know, you're very, you know, you hide, you hide your feelings big time. You act as if nothing is wrong. I'm good. I'm fine. I'm good. No, nah, I'm good. And when it comes down to, uh, down to, you know, it says slower pace, appreciate the journey rather than just rushing towards the destination. And spirit guys with the slower pace and you got insecurities, uh, something in the home. I seen the other card behind that one. It says insecurities here. Okay. Anger could be playing a factor. Oh my goodness. I'm telling y'all ain't gonna like me right now. You ain't gonna like me, but I love you. And I'm just, I'm just calling it out like spirit wanted called out. So this could be some, definitely some anger here, some anger issues that you could be dealing with. Okay. Uh, some insecure, the fear of not being good enough, building confidence and live and love your uh, uniqueness and securities. Okay. That's what brings a lot of stubbornness is clarifying that. All right. With this slow pace it's clarifying the defensive card. Okay. Uh, kind of work on that. Work on that defensiveness and resistance. Okay. Um, you know, um, and also discernment along with anger. It's clarifying anger. My goodness. I know, I know, I know, Scorpio. We're going to get into it, baby. We're going to get into it. We're going to see what else is going on here, okay? It says your, expect, your, your expectations are not met, creating frustration. Express it in a healthy way. So I feel like because this goes down back to uh, your issues, your uh, your issues at being so defensive. It's because you don't know how to express yourself. If this is not you, Scorpio, this is someone in your energy. It's that they don't know how to how to express themselves, but they know how to say it in anger, okay? When they need to deal with their emotions, what they're feeling, it's like, it's like you could be dealing with somebody or this is you, Scorpio, that... Uh, if you and your wife or husband or you get in an argument with somebody, you just suppress your feelings. You just, you know, you're stubborn. You don't want to talk about it. You just say whatever, whatever, whatever's going on in the household. And you just brush it off and you just hold it down. You just hold it in. And that's not good. That's not fair. And it's not good if it's with your wife or your significant other. Um, and you need to express yourself more. I feel like that's what spirit is saying. Work on your expression. Work on your anger, okay? Uh, slow down some, you know, and start to handle it. You know, talk about it. If it's your wife or your husband, let's talk about it. If this is not you, Scorpio, this is definitely someone you're dealing with that they're very stubborn, very defensive. It's like, you know, they 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 just blow up. You know, it's like you can't talk to them. It's like every little thing that you say it's like, you know, it's a lot of insecurity going on in the household. Every little thing that you say, they just blow up like this volcano. They just erupts, you know. When they, when you or they, when you or the person should have handled it as it arised. Handle one ping pong at a time. And I feel like it's a lot of brushing off in this household, in this home. Okay, and I feel like this person could make you feel insecure. Or you make this person feel insecure because uh, they feel like they're not good enough and that you don't want to talk to them when y'all need to really talk and work things out. So, yeah, let's see what's going on. Let me pull this out. Let's, let me pull out another card, another message card. Spirit guys, tell me more about this energy. Somebody needs to learn how to handle uh, their emotions. Someone needs to stop running from their emotions. Stop being so stubborn and defensive. Tell me more, spirit. Let's say, okay, uh, boat. You got the date and you got the boat. So the date is um, meeting someone new, dating, uh, go, uh, getting back out there, plan a set date. So some of you could be getting ready to go on a, a date, okay? Some of you can't be so defensive, so stubborn, you know, express yourself. And this one is the boat. 
receiving what you need, progress, arriving, moving on. Some of you are move, have moved on from this person. You have sailed ship. You moved on uh, because you can't handle this person's um, this person's stubbornness, their anger. Okay, they don't never express themselves. Uh, I feel like you had a hard time just sitting down, just talking to somebody. Some of you going on a uh, new date, you're getting ready to get back out there. Spirit God said, "Is you know, let your wall down. Don't be so de defensive. Express what you feel. But most of all, control your anger is what Spirit God is saying. Let's see what's going on here. It's all about your future. Yeah, you're cold towards somebody. Queen of Swords in the reverse. You're thinking about your future. You're cold towards this person. Or this person is cold towards you because they don't like how stubborn you are or you don't like how stubborn they are. Uh, but you're cold towards them. You got them blocked. You blocked. You don't play. It's like you're tired of it. It's like you've been going through this long enough in this house, in this relationship. You're tired of this person's insecurities. You're tired of this person not wanting to express themselves. Remember, everybody, reverse the roles. This, this is not you. This is the person. Who, whoever this is, you, you're cold. Okay? You got them blocked on everything. Your heart is cold because you got tired of it. Yeah, you sailed away. Okay, you're thinking about your future. You, Some of you left this person. You followed your heart and left this person. This person very stubborn you was dealing with. Okay, you got the um, Ace of Swords in the reverse. Very stubborn. Very, yeah, words. Judgment is here. Judgment call is on this situation. <clears throat> Yes, judgment call is on this situation. This person's getting judgment, getting judged for what they've done to you. And you have the will of fortune in your favor. Good luck, good fortune in your favor. And this person going through judgment of what they've done or how they treated you. Yeah, yeah, look at here. They left you out in the cold. Yeah, you're not married. If you wasn't married, you, you, you're probably in separation from this person. If you wasn't married, you were living up under the same house, up under the same household with this person. But you know you you know you had to leave this person in the cold, okay? Or this person left you in the cold because of their stubbornness. But see, things are going in your favor, okay? You cold, you couldn't take it no more. But they're going through heavy judgment for what they've done. They're very stubborn, very, very. You can't tell them nothing. You can't tell them nothing. And then when you try to say something, even if you just try, I've been in that energy where you just try to rationalize and try to talk to somebody and they, they, every little thing you say, it's like, you can't even talk to this person. Every little thing that you say, they blow up, they blow up like this darn volcano, they blow up. Okay. And it may, and it puts you in the energy of guard. You're guarding yourself, puts you in the, yeah, you're guarding yourself. Spirit guys, tell me more. Look at that hermit. Yeah, push you in the energy. You say, uh-uh. Look at that. Two of cups in the reverse. Hermit card. You gained a lot of wisdom about that. You said, I can't, I can't be in this relationship. I can't be in this marriage no more. I can't do this person no more. I can't do it. Okay, some of you have been single now for a long time. Some of you getting ready to finally go on a date. And spirit guides want you to make sure that you handle your emotions. Like I say, some of you may be stubborn as well, Scorpio. You may be as stubborn, you may be very defensive, but in order for you, in order for pro progress to happen in your life, you have to express yourself. You have to learn how to express yourself. But this person right here, you, it was no winning chance with this person, but you gained a lot of wisdom. Okay. Scorpio, you may have Virgo heavy in your chart somewhere, but you gained a lot of wisdom, a lot of insight on this. And you said, I can't do it no more. And you sailed away with the boat. You sailed away because this person, you just couldn't get through to this person. It was this household that you were in. It was a lot of insecurities in this house. It was a lot of insecurities under this roof. A lot of insecurities. And this person, you know, it, the fear was not being good enough. Build confidence and love from uniqueness. It's like this person just made you feel like you wasn't good enough. No matter what you did and you bent over backwards. You bent over backwards for this person. Yeah, and now you're stable. You got new offers. You're stable. Some of you may be getting ready to go out on a date. You're stable. You got new offers. I also see you celebrating, okay? You celebrating. You're out on your own now. You're very fruitful, very stable, okay? Some of you getting a, have gotten a promotion, got a, a better job, a raise, you're making more money. Good luck, good fortune is on your side because you finally left this person. 
Yeah, you finally had to leave this person. They were too stubborn, too stubborn. And, you know, um, they just was not listening to their inner self. They just, some of you could have been in this four years, could have been in this two to four years. And it's just, it just weighed on you. But you got a lot of good luck, good fortune coming to you, Scorpio. But judgment is on this person. Look at that. You got the king and the queen. My goodness. You got the king and the queen just popped out in your energy. Look at that. So I feel like you got somebody that's coming towards you. It's going to fit your energy. The king and the queen. I feel like that's where this offer is coming in. Somebody's going to ask you out on the date. I feel like, yeah, this is going to be your, uh, your your match, okay? Someone's going to ask you out on a date. This is a new, you know, new person. And um, I feel like you got the four of cups here. I feel like this is spirit bringing you in your mate, okay? You see this person, king and queen, came out together. So this is going to be someone that's coming into your life. If this person haven't already came into your life, that's going to be emotionally balanced. Okay, that you're going to be able to, y'all going to be able to express yourself because this last relationship or this last person that you were dealing with or was in your life, they, they was not, they were not good at that, uh, that emotion stuff. Yeah, very toxic. You were dealing with somebody, yeah, that you, it was always defensive. Oh my God, it was always defensive. You could not say, imagine, imagine walking through your house in your own house in your own house has to be defensive you know walking through your own house and and walking on eggshells in your own house under your own roof always have to have your guard up the least little thing that you say least little thing that you say and you say go get somebody else to do it and uh you left this person you sailed away and you, and some of you get ready. You get ready to get another. Get ready to get an offer. The right person. The king is coming in to meet his queen. Okay. Yeah, that part. You got an offer coming in. This king is see you, baby. So somebody coming in for you. The spirit is bringing you the right person in. But in this household, this household you were in, or this person that you were with, it was very toxic. This person could have been verbal, verbal abusive, physical abusive, very toxic energy. And it shows that this person was definitely had anger issues okay they were dealing with something that they have to work on within themselves okay this person is coming towards you this person is an emperor okay this person is an authority of his or her life that means that their mental state their mental state is all in check okay this king or queen that's coming towards you scorpio all right you were dealing with a narcissist. You got the king of swords in the reverse. You were dealing with a narcissist. And I'm so glad that you got out of that. It's the death card is here. It is over. It is done and over. It is absolutely over. I'm surprised you stayed as long as you did, okay? I'm surprised, Scorpio. I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm surprised you stayed, stayed as long as you did. But the will of fortune is in your favor. I see a lot of celebration. I see somebody new coming into your life. This king is going to match you, queen. Okay, king, queen coming in with an offer, a solid offer, a foundation, okay? Some of you get ready to go on a date very soon. You may have already been on a date. A lot of stability here. But uh, I feel like you had to think about your future, right? Right. You had to think about your future. And, um, and, um, because this person, you know, you just, your heart just became cold because no matter what you said, what you did, you know, it was like, it was defensive all the time. You said, I got to, I got to get out of this. I got to get out of this because it's, it's, it's getting bad. And, um, yeah, yeah, you definitely was, your household was full of, uh, abuse, full of, uh, narcissist energy. And this very person that did this to you because you're a very loving, caring person. Okay, you, you're a very caring person. You could be a, a caregiver. You could be someone that may be in the nursing doctor. You could be in the healthcare field somewhere or you just have that energy. Judgment call is on this person. Yeah, for how they treated you. Judgment call is on this person right now as you're listening under the sound of my voice. Judgment call is on this person because of they're, 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 yeah, that stubbornness, okay, they're defensive, they're guard, okay, they never learn how to handle their emotions, 
And now they're going to have to pay the price for treating you the way that they did. I'm Positive Thoughts and Energy Scorpio. Don't forget to sign up for my membership. If you're new to my channel, subscribe, like. Don't forget to like, to like the content. And I have different packages for membership that I'll be doing. Uh, that it's going to be some beautiful things. So until next time, Scorpio.